Welcome back. I'm MJ Haggis and this is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. I'm glad you're here to join me in this little journey back through to the Albany River. We're going to do some crafting. Yes, these two trucks are going to have to stay here a little bit longer. No real need for them at the moment. I do probably think I'll end up using the Mustang to drag this uh, GMC at least to the main road because he's got highway tires on. He'll probably get stuck. But we'll worry about that later. Let's go and do the crafting. We are going through this gateway and we are heading... Oh, did I just click on the same thing? I did. Albany River. There we go. So, I showed it in the last episode, but we're going to follow this down and straight into this plant area where we do the crafting. Land Rover's currently sitting in the way, probably, but we'll move him. Don't worry. Right, let's do it. Let's just get some driving done. We are in the burn forest, and now we are good. Time to go. I don't think I need any waypoints. I just hope those metal rolls stay where they are. Well, we've not been this way, I don't think. I'm sure it's nothing the dairy can't cope with. Stay there, metal beams. Metal beams, metal roll. What am I claiming over there? Sure, they want to make a bid for freedom. So, all going well, all going well, we get one lot of consumables from all of that on the trailer. Now, there's value from money. Yeah. Cheaper just flying them in from a different region. Anyway, um, with the craft, with the crafting done, we've got the jewels. Then we need to go and find two more metal rolls. And once we're doing that, we're heading towards a burn forest again for the water tower repair. That is our immediate kind of goal here. Don't hit the barrier. It's okay. And we're in. Once we've got water, we can start putting out more fires. I have moved the 15,000 liter capacity very special firefighting tool towards the gateway. Uh, along with, well, did I, I moved it to Taran up towards the gateway just in case we need some more rescues. He's close to the gateway. It's up where the little small scout fuel uh, carrier is. Both of them are there in that little car parking space. Oh, that's me, full speed. <laughs> interesting. I am not sure if I've got any other choice of the gearbox for this thing just to make it that little bit quicker, but keeping all the functionality of all of these other uh, gear ratios might be worth investigating at some point. Off we go. Right, fire it up. Not got far to go, but... You know, this will be a good time, because I have got some more subscribers. So, while I'm driving along, I would like to welcome Kev497. I've got Shinning V1, KN Purdy, and Abernasty Shack Nasty. Guys, awesome. Thank you so much. We are slowly but surely getting some nice numbers here. I'd like to think it's down to the quality of the gameplay, not the quality of my presentation. Yeah, probably not that either. But guys, thank you sincerely to everybody who subscribed. I, 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 it blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. Right, there's 
No, that's not where we're going. That up arrow is not what we're after. That's metal rolls. That's signifying. We... Yeah, there's the symbol we're after, the cog. Don't hit anything on the bridge. I just want to look at the landscape. It's so beautiful. Does Ontario get hit by really bad snow in the winter? I would imagine it would, it's fairly far north. Well, we can go to the roundabout actually and turn left. At some point I am actually going to have to consider refueling this dairy. Hmm, okay. I might consider running it down towards the fuel station near the garage and then if I'm that close, I might as well stick it in the garage and see if we're reconfiguring it slightly. Okay, there's Land Rover. Just stick the nose into the box there. We'll do nicely engine off. Save that fuel. So we are gonna drop off the metal beams first. Did they go. They did not go. Now they've gone. Right, hopefully the thing will drop in nicely, which it did. Repack those. And get rid of them. So we have got everything we need for one measly little consumable. We'll take it right back out. Load that up. And now we are good to go back into the burned forest but ideally we'd want to come through this gateway over here hmm that's a good drive uh, across the bridge take the second left over the top and down yeah that kind of is as direct We've done this one, in fact, that's what we'll do. We'll go... Right, okay, let's get some waypoints. So we're back out... ...to this junction right here. And then that junction there, which is not that obvious. Cross the water. Ignore the chemical barrels. Then we didn't see them. And we are going to go this way on the junction that way on that junction, and that way on that junction. Right. Great, that's the next drive. Shouldn't be too bad, we've hardly got any a uh, load on the trailer. There's a warehouse there, see metal rolls there. So I'm almost tempted to pick up that one there, because it's en route. And then that would give us one less that we're taking from a warehouse in the burn forest. There is one here. But I might just leave that in case we need it over on this side of the map. Right. Okay. Can we go back out that way? I think we can. There was me wanting to get fuel and stuff. And I'm blatantly just not doing that. This is way overkill the size of trailer for what we're doing, but I quite like having a six slot trailer through in the other map. So if anything, we'll take it through and maybe just leave it there if, if possible. It's easy enough to grab another trailer out of uh, the trailer store that's right next to the garage for this map. The only thing I was thinking I might still be worth doing is getting a suitably large fuel trailer and taking it out to the west on this map and leaving it by the gateway where the scout fuel trailer is because it, that only really carries 900 litres. This lorry in one fell swoop 
could take the whole lot out of that little scout fuel trailer. But maybe something more substantial would be sensible. Not that I'm known for being sensible, but you've got to plan ahead. With no fueling facilities in Burn Forest, other than trailers, you've got to you've got to think of what your jobs are. Are you going to be in there that much? Yeah, probably. Time to put the suspension up. We haven't done that. Oh, it was up already. Oh. Okay. I didn't think it was that high, but hey, guess it was. Hmm. Guess I'll need to be careful I don't go crashing into big trees or. Uh, whoa! What was that? There's literally nothing there. like the time where you think right what am I doing with those chemical barrels I've got a crane I've got loads of spare slots in the trailer do I just pick them up anyway where do they go I don't even see any chemical barrels where were they they were about here somewhere oh there you go anybody see any sitting on a crate somewhere right past them oh look at the waterfall Just sit down here with your picnic on the island there and just look at that instead of driving. Yeah, and just look at that all day. Right, now, now we get into the badlands. You know, watch out for those pesky trees that like to destroy your suspension and tires. Our first candidate. Nice and easy. Yep. Find our way through. Again, there's that water boom that we fixed and filled and it's probably never going to be used. Wash the wheels in the muddy water. Even though it's a mod, it's nice to use some new trucks. I haven't seen any more dairy specials coming out in the mod hub. I would try them out, you know. 
maybe have another look soon. I wonder if you take everything from here, will it disappear like some of the other buildings when you take all the stuff from it? And I'll just be left with the concrete pad it sits on. More than likely. Right, we'll have that, thank you. And you could probably actually just take the, these metal beams now and drop them through in the other map. But I'm not going to. If you knew there was a, con uh, a contract coming up with metal beams as a requirement through in Burn Forge, you could take them through. I'm wondering if you could drop them off at a warehouse. So at least you know they're there. I think up, yeah, up at the, there, you've got unlimited metal beams. Come on. You've been in there, because it looks like there is things there. Come on. You go on. damage. I am well surprised. And there's our Vitaran and our firefighting mod Derry. So the, the brother or sister to this one. Right. Okay, fire up the engine. And we are going. I haven't set any waypoints but I know it's left. Yeah, if you'd grab those metal beams, can you drop them off in the warehouse? I know you can drop stuff off in crafting zones, but that certainly wouldn't help us. This is the other... Let's find out anyway, we're going in here. Hey, hey. Let's just make our lives easier for getting back out. Across the grass. Excellent. Right. Yeah, only load. I kind of forget. There's no drop-off. It's only at crafting zones you can drop stuff off, so that wouldn't help us in the slightest. But anyway, uh, we are after this guy. So, one consumables, two metal rolls. You're good. Where are we going from here, though? We are going round to this water tower. So... Yeah, we have to go the, the same route we've been all the way around... A long way for a shortcut and down this way. Oh, yeah. The main thing really to notice <laughs> and make the distinction is this is a water tower, so it will have unlimited water, not a water room. I hope. After all of this, it says water tower. Water tower number four. Not water boom anything. Yeah, man. Oop, we go. When you're, 
When you're kitting out your dairy special, for pretty much most of the options that there's, um, one of them that gives you, um, it's uh, undamageable. You can't do any damage to any of your suspension. I think gearbox. I know I've got it for the fuel tank, but there's no option to have anything else but undamageable. What's a better word for that? Undamageable. Indestructible. Uh, so you get gearbox. It's a gearbox engine, suspension, and something else. But I've chosen not to. Except for the fuel tank, like I say, you can't have anything but. But it doesn't seem to pick up an awful lot of damage if you're relatively careful. perfect little spot there to have a little truck up down there on its side that's kind of just gone off the road you need to recover it all those little spots and you definitely kind of have to consider how you're going to get it out there's a few regions that we've done in the past where they put vehicles that need recovery or rescuing in quite tricky little spots you have to think about how you're going to get them out there's one down there. What was it? Uh, was it the Yard 87? And it was down some crevasse, some snowy crevasse. No, it wasn't a Yard. I don't think it was a Yard. What was it? Oh, it, it was the... I don't even have it anymore. I sold it. It was one of, the, one of the scout vehicles anyway. I thought, that's quite clever. You had to get a big crane to go and pull it out. I like those sort of like tactical challenges, you've got to think about how you're going to do it. Even this contract here to get to this stage, I like, you've got to figure it. It's almost like reverse engineering it. Start at the end and work your way back how you're going to do it. It's not just a simple A to B and everything is given to you. Okay, don't look at the view, don't look at the view, watch the road. Wow, this has gone surprisingly well and quick. I expected uh, the odd hiccup, but we're in. We're going to get that water tower. I buy consumables, you pay them and the metal rolls. Badoom. Awesome. So, restoring the water tower 4 is now complete. Another source. Wow. Let's teach that fire a lesson. Awesome. 4,500 cash, 500 XP. Tell you, you don't get much for that because you're only just transporting them here. But you do an awful lot to get to this stage. We'll accept that. Let's have a look at the water management. Yeah, definitely a water tower. Unlimited. Sweet! Oh, I'm in the water tower. Right, let's move out of this zone. We're into the red with the fuel. 100 and, <laughs> into the red, we've got 108, or was 118 litres. I guess it's just done in percentages. Let's just park this guy here. He's gonna pop in for a coffee with one of these guys in the caravan. And we don't have an awful lot of time left, guys. So I'm just, I'm going to call that an episode. There's, there's quite a bit in this one, just to get to this stage. Sun's starting to go down anyway. So I'll figure out what we're going to do next. Probably, well, definitely not water boom number seven, but something suitably better than that. Guys, thank you so much again for subscribing and also for watching. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.